A conservative policy expert says the cure for the anger and division in our country might come from a liberal arts education. In National Review, Ryan Streeter and his colleague, Justin Dyer, write, quote, liberal education, when done well, puts Americans in contact with ideas that are challenging and difficult. It teaches them how to talk with, rather than past, each other. Ryan Streeter is the director of domestic policy studies at the American Enterprise Institute. Ryan, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Our country seems more polarized than ever. What is it about a liberal arts education that could help bridge the divide? It's a great question. Uh, the liberal arts really as fundamentally conceived is about the pursuit of truth. And I think what, what my uh, co-author and I were saying in the piece that you reference is not that the free speech problem on our campuses isn't important, but that there's an underlying deeper, more historical problem. And that is kind of the cratering of the liberal arts as a as a well-rounded education in which you pursue these enduring questions about the human condition. And that presuppose that there are things that are true about the human condition and there are things that are not true about the human condition. And the, the idea is to actually sharpen students' minds about some of these enduring questions. Um, they shouldn't take an English or philosophy class and all of a sudden have all the answers to the world. Uh, they should actually have more questions about the world as a, as a result of a liberal arts education. And there's actually some pretty good research to show that when people experience uh, high levels of intellectual curiosity, some people are just more intellectually curious than others. They want to keep learning about things, even things they know about. They want to question their own assumptions. They want to be open-minded. It makes them um, more open-minded to others and willing to sit down and hear, hear other sides of the argument. So I think with a more robust liberal arts education, some of these other problems on our college campuses, like a crisis of free speech, would actually start to fix themselves. How would renewing the liberal arts help our democracy? Uh, it would help our democracy in a few ways. First of all, um, like I was just saying, it would actually help people listen to the other side, um, be able to come to common agreement on certain types of problems rather than just talking past each other or shouting at, at one another. Um, and secondly, and perhaps even more importantly long term, is it the, the, a liberal arts education is all about presupposing and helping people understand that, that there are things that are true. Our, our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness enshrined in the Declaration of Independence are rooted in a view of natural right, which you only can really fully appreciate when you study it through history, through philosophy, through literature, and, and it helps you actually appreciate these truths on which our institutions are built. And when, like you, when you grow cynical about our institutions and you begin to d doubt that, that they're actually based on something that's enduring and true, um, then your democracy is really in trouble. But what is the trend nationally? Are liberal arts educations prop popular among American students? Um, as a degree, uh, most liberal arts uh, degrees are shrinking at universities as more students have gone into professional and STEM-related related fields. So they've shrunk overall. But this has been documented over time that, that colleges and universities across the country have really sort of hollowed out the liberal arts. Um, there's been a collapse of core curricula. So you can actually just take um, a liberal arts courses in sort of an a la carte matter. You, you could be an English major uh, at a university and your, your roommate could be an English major at the same university and you could take completely different courses throughout throughout the, your entire four years. And so it's really, I think it's really important for college administrators and trustees, donors to universities to actually begin to put pressures on the universities to reestablish the, the authenticity of and the validity of a core curriculum of, of classes that help round out not only knowledge, but certain core abilities like critical thinking conscientiousness, the ability to solve problems, and to be able to reason together. Ryan Streeter, Director of Domestic Policy Studies at the American Enterprise Institute. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.